hello, welcome back or welcome. I am book lover Lorna and we're here to chat all things book. Now today I'm doing my chick lit slash romance recommendations. So these are books that I label as poolside easy reads. They are ones that are very calm and relaxing. They're not really entirely like pressing on your mind. They don't require a lot of energy for you to read them. They're generally quite popular books with a little bit of romance thrown in there. Um, and they're just, they're just feel good, feel good reads really, feel good reads. Now, my, probably my first recommendation as a book series are the I Heart books, which are just here. So we've got um, the order, in case you wanted to know, is I Heart New York, I Heart Hollywood, Paris, Vegas, London, uh, Christmas, little Christmas one in there, Forever and Hawaii. Um, now I put them into order a while ago, so I hope I've managed to keep them in order on my bookshelf and I've just told you the right one. Who knows? So those books are really feel good. They're amazing for just kind of sitting and doing nothing, massively distracting your mind. Oh, I'm sorry, I just kicked the thing that I'm sat on. Massively distracting your mind. You know, if you just want to like escape into another little world, which you could easily be in yourself, these are the kind of books for you. So the I Heart series, very, very popular, but I read them a long, long time ago. I think my mum got one or two from the works and we read them in the wrong order. I don't even think mum's read them in the right order, but she's read them all, I think, or well, all but the most too recent maybe um so i would recommend for reading them in the right order but actually if you're not going to remember what happens so much and get kind of into the story then you're not going to miss miss too much but the i heart series would be my first chiclet recommendation and particularly so for a chiclet series now the book that has most recently caused a bit of a stir and everyone is in love with is the flat share that's definitely a chiclet recommendation for me even my friend who's moved in with me recently, she was like, I've seen you talk about the flat share so much. And she doesn't, she's not really a massive reader. She probably reads a couple of books a year. Um, she was like, I got myself Audible and I've been listening to the audiobook and she loved it. So um, I think another one of my friends is actually reading it as well. And she's never heard me talk about it, but she's loving it too. Everyone loves the flat share. You get about halfway through and you're like, not really sure from into this where it's going and then all of a sudden it clicks and you fall in love with it so the flat shirt is definitely one of my big chip lit recommendations right i've talked about this book a million and one times love rosie one of the best chip lit books ever i just absolutely love it the film itself is good but the book is just a completely different uh experience i've said to you before that it's all written in email or text form so there's no written prose it's like to Alex and then it's the the text that she sent to um, her friend. It was previously called Where Rainbows End. This is one of my favourite books ever. You think it's big but you storm through it because of the way that it's written. You do, you are, you do, you are, it is really quick. Um, but if you're not, if you're one of those people who would re take like maybe six months to read a book, probably not for you only because of the fact that I got my auntie to read this and she was like, I have to keep going and reading the chapter before because I can't remember what happened because it ha happens at quite, everything happens at a fast pace. So if you miss one chapter, you kind of miss a big chunk of what happens. Um, but if you read a little bit faster than that, then you may enjoy this one. It's my next chick lit recommendation. Love Rosie, AKA Where Rainbows End by Cecilia Ahern. And The Flat Show is by Beth O'Leary, by the way. Now, an author that I would recommend for chick lit reads is Lucy Diamond. I've read an awful lot of her books. I haven't read all of them. The most recent ones I haven't. She's usually an author that I like to read in the summer months. I don't know why, but I just can't read her books in the wintertime. And again, there are some books that I don't really like to read in summertime. I have to read them in wintertime. I don't know. I'm weird. I've got weird habits. But her favourite of mine that I've read, so would be my biggest recommendation, is The Beach Cafe. I think it's actually the first of hers that I read and I really, really enjoyed it. So I need to finish off reading her books and then start rereading them just so that I can reread this. I'm going to reread everything aren't I? I'm going to have to stop buying books because I keep saying I'm going to reread this, I'm going to reread that, I'm going to reread this, I'm going to reread that. That was almost into a wrap, sorry, I'm so sorry. I am not cool enough for that. Um, so 
chiclet author, I'd recommend Lucy Diamond and specifically her book, The Beach Cafe. I'm sure that there's like a little sequel to that about the baby at the beach cafe or something as well. That's a lovely little book, that one. As a chiclet recommendation, I would also recommend the Billy and Me books by Giovanna Fletcher. Um, I don't actually have Billy and Me here because I read it on my Kindle and I've reread it on my Kindle app. Sorry, I've got really itchy notes today. I reread it on my Kindle app so I don't actually have a physical copy. When charity shops open and I'm able to go back to them, I will be picking up a physical copy when I find it in good enough condition. But I have the second book. I think this is, yeah, this is the second book, Always With Love. Um, I really like them. Again, it's Hollywood movie star, a girl from a sweet little village who plans to stay there for her whole life. I mean, how much more chick litty could you get? I absolutely love it. So Giovanna's books are really good kind of chick lit style, but particularly the Billy with me books, Billy and me, sorry. You can see, so this little um, picture, you can't see at all, can you? Because it's too dark is what the first book looks like. So that's the one that you wanna look out for, Billy and Me, and then the sequel is Always With Love. And now I've messed up the lighting by doing the, the whole hand thing. I thought that was what the pros did. <sighs> now, a author who I have somewhat discovered more recently, the book that I'm about to show you I read last September, but I've only just started to pick up um, her books and I love, love, love them. And as far as I've read, I can't say this is for all of her books, as far as I've read, she's a chick lit author. So she's probably going to be a new one of my favourite chick lit authors, potentially one of my favourite authors. But I should read some more before I uh, commit to that, because I've only read two, three of her books so far. She's got a lot. She's got a lot of books. Um, so that is Holly Martin. And the particular one that I read last summer, which I loved and made me fall in love with her, is Summer at Rose Island. I don't think I've got very well the colours there. There you go. The lighting was a bit off. Summer at Rose Island. And I've also read The Holiday Cottage by the Sea. And I think I've read another, you know. I'm trying to look on my bookshelves. I can't see. I don't know. Maybe I've only read two and that's how much that's how much I've enjoyed those books that I could, you know, see my see her being one of my new favourite authors. Just dropping books. So that would be um, my last chiclet recommendation, Holly Martin, potentially as an author of chiclet books, but more specifically, Summer at Rose Island. So those are kind of some of my chiclet recommendations. There are other books that I would kind of touch over into the similar category, but they're more YA, so young adult reads, kind of like the Hollyborn books. They're really good, but they kind of touch on more serious issues. Um, kind of like depression in some of them but in a young adult kind of way so that they're, they're written really well um, like feminism and all that kind of thing so they are really good but they're in a kind of in a different area maybe if I did like a Venn diagram they would like crossover and Holly Bond would be in the middle of like serious topics and a romance chiclet there we go and I think that is probably it for my main chiclet recommendations I mean I could go on forever couldn't I we know we know that I can do that um let's not talk about that but I reckon that those are kind of my staples so we have Billy and Me books by Giovanna Fletcher Summer at Rose Island by Holly Martin The Beach Cafe by Lucy Diamond and Lucy Diamond as a whole for a chiclet author Love Rosie by Cecilia Ahern also known as Where Rainbows End and The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. So those are my recommendations for some chick lit easy reads. If you want a bit of a distraction, but something that's not too taxing on your mind, these are the ones. That was me hitting the book pile, but hitting my hand instead. I'm sleepy. I need to catch up on my sleep, obviously. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and happy reading. Bye.